Welcome to another episode of the Valorant Tips and Tricks sent by you series. A series where I show Valorant Tips and Tricks that you guys sent to me. Phew, it's been a while since I've said that intro. I actually went on a small vacation to London last week. So my upload schedule is still a bit messed up. But I'm back my friends and I'm gonna show you a lot of new unique Valorant Tips and Tricks. One of these tricks even got abused in a pro match. It's gonna be an insane episode. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Let's start with talking about the outlaw. There's a mechanic that I personally never knew about. So maybe some other people also don't know about this mechanic. But when you scope it outlaw and shoot it looks like your gun goes up a little bit so your next shot wouldn't be on the same spot but this my friends is actually very wrong when you shoot with the outlaw and you don't move your scope the bullets will always hit on exactly the same spot of course outside the practice range you can only shoot two bullets but just remember that you can spam those two bullets and maybe you can get some nice wallman kills yeah, pulling out your knife One time. <laughs> now let me show you a cool jet trick the og valorant players might remember the time when jet had two updrafts you could jump on boxes like this one and then do another updraft to kill the enemies at water fall but sadly those days are over now we need to find other creative ways to get a little bit higher and luckily over here on lotus you can use the dune what you have to do is stand on top of the sand pile jump at the highest point and then dash forward when you do this correctly you will get onto the box and now you can just press x use your updraft and kill the enemies in waterfall two things you have to keep in mind when using this trick first of all you need to have control over sight otherwise people from there might kill you and the second thing is that you need to practice this in a custom game the jump is harder than you think but once you get it it's easy peasy for you let's move on the biggest counter for an operator player must be the ISO shield. It's so annoying when you shoot with the op on an ISO and the shield just fully tanks the shot. And you know what's even more annoying? When the enemy ISO ults you while he has his shield active and you got an operator. Did this ever happen to you? No worries. There's a sneaky tactic that you can use so you get the advantage back again and can win those 1v1s. Step 1. If you get ultied by ISO, you have a split second to spot if his shield is ready or not. When you see that the shield is ready, you should go for the quick peek with your secondary before the barriers are going down. Try to destroy that shield then go back behind the barrier draw your operator again and then shoot him like that Konshu is showing you how it's done One see a pretty good trick here's another example now look at this clip Oh, sneaky little rat. Is the good trick? Maybe in the eco round. I wouldn't recommend to do this in a real round. But if you don't fool by and you use your gun, I think a sneaky red spot like this one could be very effective. Let's move on. In last episode, I showed a cypher trick where that if you try to place your trap on a high spot over here on ascent, you wouldn't be able to place it unless you teleport first and then crouch. This is a very strange mechanic and it's still in the game. But something that I forgot to mention in that video is that you can use this trick basically anywhere on the map. Over here on Lotus, for example, here on A side, it's it's a pretty insane trick, but it might be bug abuse, so be careful when using this one. And about bugs and glitches, did you ever hear about this clove glitch? With clove, if you activate your C ability at exactly the same moment as you take fall damage, you actually get overhealed to more than 150 HP. In this case, the total is 235 HP. I think this bug will get fixed soon though, but it's cool to know. This next trick, I'm not sure if it's bug abuse, because it actually got used in a professional match, but here's how it goes. On B side on sunset, first Sage should place her wall on top of these boxes, and after that, the teammate over can teleport on this wall and when he does that he get a lot of vision on middle like i said it really looks like bug abuse and i think it will get fixed in the future but it's an insane trick this tactic also got used by rpx against th a few weeks ago and this is how it looked like here it is same wall being played that he should be aware of this cleared off this angle just yet still wants to play up top still wants to combine it all with the aggression to buy through the back of the side i know pretty overpowered rito please fix now let me give you a tip for when you see the enemy using a breach ultimate it sounds so simple and it is simple but often the simple tricks are the most effective if you see an enemy breach using his ultimate and you play omen try to teleport away before the ultimate hits you this way when you get stunned you at least get to a different spot and after that you can pick up the kill easy peasy like carrot g off your feet no way you did that no way. Nah. Now a quick and easy sage peeky you can do at the start of the round. Very simple on icebox, jump on these boxes. And when the barriers are going down, walk forward, use your wall. And an easy early peek, you might catch the enemies of guard. Let's move on and talk about the deadlock barrier. As probably most of us know, the Yodo gate crash, also known as his teleport, is not able to go through a deadlock barrier. It will get stuck behind the wall. However, here's the thing. When an enemy deadlock places the barrier down, there's almost always a small little gap at the edge of the barrier. So when you play Yodo and you see one of those gaps, use it to place your gate crash there anyway and since we're talking about the deadlock barrier this reina mechanic never gets old Reloading. 
Okay, okay, let's do one more deadlock mechanic. We don't talk enough about this agent on this channel, but did you know that you can use the deadlock barrier to boost yourself on top of boxes? It's like the same idea as the kill your sentry gun, jump while casting the barrier underneath you, and you can get a little higher than normal. Is this a useful mechanic? I don't really think so. This ability is way better to just block off the enemies, but I think it's a cool mechanic, so that's why I wanted to include this in this video. Okay, my friends, jokes on you. One more deadlock barrier trick. This one is a bit more useful. Do you see this iron part of the wall over here? When playing deadlock, try to throw your barrier on the left side of this wall. Now what you can do is crouch behind the wall, and as you see, you have a small little angle where you can shoot the enemies from. From the enemy's perspective, of course, they see your barrier, but there's not a high chance that they will be able to see your head. That's how you can get some sneaky kills over here. This trick even works better if you have an operator. And while we're over here at Breeze, look at this clip. We tend to dust. Well played, X-Ray Visser. Jump for fishing and then wall back. This trick is even possible with a vandal, so good luck, my friends. Now it's time to take a break from the tricks and go to the trick shots. I always love this part of the video. Some people have such lucky shots, like this one. Back up. Or this one. People have moments in game where you think like, what the heck happened over here? You actually... No! And did you ever see a Cypher 360? 180 with the cam and after that 180 with the gun. Back to the tricks. You see the scam over there on Icebox? Did you know that you can throw your Viper Q ability on this camera? When you do this and you stand on this plant pot over there, you create a little one way. When the enemies are pushing, they won't be able to see your legs at first. And this gives you a little time to kill them before they see you. Okay, this next trick might sound a bit strange. But sometimes when you hear the enemy race using her ultimate, it might be too late to run away. In that case, when you run away, the only thing she's gotta do is shoot on you and then you will die. So instead of running away, you could also decide to run towards the enemy race. By doing this, there's a chance she will hit herself and that's how King Carrot won this game over here. Before we go to the next trick, if you like this video, feel free to subscribe because we're trying to reach more subs than Little Love. And with your help, we might be able to do it. Now let's talk about one of my favorite Valorant YouTubers, Grim. I think most of us know Grim by now, right? He's a sage main that likes to do crazy walls. And I think that his next player, Blue Star, probably gets a lot of inspiration from this guy. Why you might ask? Well, my friends, Blue Star sent it in more than five Grim walls. And some of these walls are insane, so look at them and learn from them. The first one is over here on Bind. Somebody could be friendly. Second one on B-side by him. Then we have this one in hookah. Apparently this glitch on Ascent still works. Who's <laughs> next? And did you know that you can spot market if you use your sage ball over here on B-side? I knew you could look to the defender spawn, but market is a new one for me. Also, Blue Star, I love the effort. You're this video's Battle Pass winner. Congratulations. And this, my friends, this is the end of the video. Shout out to everyone who submitted the trick. I hope you learned something today and I see you guys in the next one. Peace.